Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use a free program to convert any image into a line drawing or an oil painting or a sketch or almost any other type of artwork that you can imagine. And it's really easy to do. Now, what you're seeing on the screen here is a photo that I shot of a pickup truck, and I quickly converted to this line drawing. I'm going to show you how I did that. First thing I did is I used a program called Photo Sketcher, and in a moment I'll show you where to get it. And then I click File, Open Picture, went to my computer, found the picture of the truck, clicked Open, and it opened it into my program. And my program has drawing parameters, and the drawing style that I chose is Pencil Sketch. And once I've chose that, all I have to do is click Draw. And the program works. You can see the line going across the bottom here. And there's my pencil sketch. It really did a nice job. Again, this is the original, and this is the pencil sketch. Now I can do more than pencil sketches. We'll bring this back up. And under drawing style, we can do pencil sketch black and white, pencil sketch color, pastel sketch, uh, a pencil sketch four and five, and then pen and ink effects, and then painting effects, including watercolors and oil paintings and brush strokes, and then stylized effects, and then vivify. Lots of little things here. Now, if I wanted to create a pencil sketch black and white, all I have to do is click black and white and click draw. And it does the drawing for me. And it did a really nice job. But if I wanted to have uh, more options here, I can darken or lighten it. I can change the stroke length. I can change the edge intensity. I can change the edge threshold. Or I can just go back and try another one of the uh, pencil sketch effects. Let's just try number four and click draw. So as you can see, it works really, really easily. Now I'm going to show you another example, and then I'm going to show you where to download this program. We're going to open another file. Just click File, Open. Come over to my folder here, and we're going to find a photo of a building. We click Open there. Notice the building open, but it's in landscape mode. It really needs to be in portrait mode. That's an easy fix. All we have to do is click Edit, Rotate Left. Straightens up the building for us. Now we click the palette right here, and then we can choose what we want to do with that. Let's do a pencil sketch. I've already got pencil sketch 4 selected. We click draw. And it's done. Did a pretty good job. Maybe I want a pencil sketch black and white. We'll just click draw on that. Really nice job there. And like I said before, if I want to darken this, I can just by moving that over and clicking draw. And it shows me what it looks like. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a free program, and I'm going to show you where you can get it. To find out more about the program, you want to go to photosketcher.com. And at photosketcher.com, you can view examples of what's been done with the program. You can view the gallery. There's a download link, and there's more about the program. And the program is 100% free. It includes more than 20 effects. There's no uh, artistic skill needed. And it works for Windows, all versions of Windows, but unfortunately, there's not a Mac version. Now, there is a download link on the site. And you can click that link and it takes you to another link that you can click that takes you to official mirror now i follow this link and i couldn't really find the download link so what i did is i went to a trusted download source which is download.com and at download.com i searched for photo sketcher and it showed me two downloads and the one that you want unless you're putting this on a netbook is photo sketcher and just click it to download it once you download it install it and it'll be an icon on your computer and you can up and run. Now if you do use Photo Sketcher and you like it, there is a way for you to donate a little bit of money and you can just click the uh, How About Coffee link here in the program itself and using PayPal you can donate a little bit of money. Again, it's really easy to use. We'll do one more. Click File, Open a Picture. Uh, let's do a picture of this boat right here. Click Open. And then if I want to do a pencil sketch, just click Draw. As you can see, it runs fast. It does a nice job. Anything that you create, you can save by just clicking File, Save the Drawing As, and then giving it a file name and save. Now, there are a couple of things I didn't mention. We're back here to the uh, Toyota pickup that I did a sketch of, and I want to show you those right now. When you bring up the drawing parameters, you do that by clicking on the little palette here. In addition to choosing drawing style and threshold intensity, you can also soften the edges or add a frame. When you click Add a Frame, you can click these buttons here. You can choose different frames that you want. You can have a simple frame, a line frame, a realistic frame, a horizontal frame, or just brush strokes. And if you choose one, you just click it right there. And then choose the margin size or the color, and then click OK. When you draw the image, it puts a frame around it. And that's what it looks like with the brush strokes frame around it. 
One other thing I didn't show you is you have a magnifying glass here. So if your screen is too small, you can zoom in or you can zoom out. You can go to full size or even zoom in tighter if you like. So this program is called Photo Sketcher. And again, Photo Sketcher is free. You can find out more about Photo Sketcher at the Photo Sketcher website. And you can download it from either that website or you can go to downloads.com and download it there. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.